So about four weeks ago to the day, I was up here at Winlatter Forest um, doing some biking. Nothing too difficult, just trying to test out the new GoPro Hero 7 that I've got. And I was actually just on the way up, hadn't really done any riding. And I saw this old trail that I used to ride that had been a bit overgrown and there'd been some felling going on. So I wanted to go check out whether it was still rideable or not. <laughs> and walking down there, it was really, really slippy. There were some roots and I just basically fell with my shoulder up like that, trying to grab a tree and managed to dislocate it. So four weeks on, I've been to the physio and he's actually really surprised with um, how well it's healed up. So I've been given the go ahead to go do some light riding and I'm gonna use that time to get out and actually test the GoPro, which I've not had a chance to do since I had that injury. So testing out Hype Smooth with the chin mount and this little sponge thing um, that's meant to improve the audio a little bit with the wind. And it is a really windy day today, so it should be a good test for it. So probably just gonna do a bit of blue, a bit of the, bit of the lower red and see how it goes. Just doing a quick little lap on this last bit of red. Shoulder seems absolutely fine, so I'm gonna head up, do the last bit of blue. Just a quick little loop, it's quite flat, so it should be fairly easy going. And yeah, see how this GoPro is looking and sounding. Hi. Hiya. Oh, you can tell I've not been on a bike for nearly a month. As you can see by the trees, it's a really windy day. It's quite cold as well. There's a fair bit of ice around, dusting of snow on the tops. So yeah, it'll be a good day to see how the audio is sounding. Yeah, so I can only apologize if the riding's not gonna be quite the most interesting today. Uh, like I say, I've got to take it fairly easy. But yeah, it's more about the uh, new camera setup and let me know what you think of this chin mount. I've actually just made it with um, a couple of GoPro mounts actually zip tied through this front little vent on the chin bar and yeah no glue whatsoever just zip tied and it seems to be doing a pretty good job so see how it holds up when we're actually riding Super windy through here. Bit of ice there actually. Guess I'm not just slide out on that. little loop. Shoulder's feeling pretty good so far. So we're now on the way up to the middle of the south. And I think I'm going to try out a few different angles with this GoPro. See if I can get the best of showing the bars and the trail ahead without cutting out too much of either. I think it's just going to be a bit of hit and miss. See what angle works out best. So just up here is where an old trail used to be, which is what I was going to go check out. Just down there. <laughs> I think you can spot, you can spot the tree that got me. <laughs> yeah, I'll not go exploring down there again. I should probably mention the settings I'm using on the GoPro, which I'm shooting in 2.7K. 24 frames a second. I know a lot of people use 30, but I tend to shoot in 24 with all my other cameras. So, so it all matches up nicely. I'm gonna use the same on this. Superview, ProTunes on max, ISO is 800, minimum 100, auto shutter, and native white balance, I think, just so I can color correct it later on. 
I'm kind of basing the settings off what I've seen online and a mix of what I've used on my other GoPro as well. So hopefully it comes out pretty nice. Bit of snow up here. Hopefully the tracks aren't too icy. Alright, I promised I'd take it easy down here, so I'm going to try and freewheel as much as possible and not jump too much off these. fairly dark through this bit so we'll see how these GoPro settings hold up So I'm just going to go do this last bit of glue again and then I think I'll leave the video there. It's just going to be a really short one but don't want to do too much riding on the shoulder as it is right now. And yeah, it should be enough footage anyway to get a rough idea of how the GoPro is looking. I have got a few more videos on the way and I was actually down in Wales at Revolution Bike Park doing a shoot with Riley Scott um, a couple of weeks back. So I'll put some footage on the screen now but that's looking really good. I'm looking forward to releasing that in a week or so. And yeah, other than that, um, trip to Scotland in spring, new bike hopefully getting built up before that, and yeah, once his shoulder's sorted, maybe enter some races too. So be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, hope you've enjoyed this pretty short video, and I'll see you in the next one.